Okay, welcome back to Derby Oak Gaming. Um, so, uh, fun moment of story time. We initially recorded Pixelmon, because we thought, hey, this will be cool and slightly different. Okay. okay. Well, those recordings were sort of lost. Wait, how were they lost? Um, so we recorded them, and something didn't work, and I can't find them, so... Okay. Do I started over, and this version is manually input, so instead of running through CurseForge, like we were before, this is the actual mod mixed in a mod pack. Okay. And since what I built it, I got to add some stuff. So we have a massive list of stuff here that teaches me how to make it, so I don't have to sit there and go, what do I do with these? Okay. And I can hit, like, U. And it teaches me what to do with them. And then from there, it teaches me how to make things. So I don't have to sit there and flounder too hard. I also added my favorite mod pack of T Tinker's Construct. So we get to make super special equipment and such when we get to that point. So, starting off here. Well done. If you go any further. I might be getting a Switch, because they just announced the release of a new Metroid game. And I'm Metroid? A yes, I'm a Metroid fanboy. I was never a fan of Metroid. I love Metroid. It's like, I grew up with the original Metroid, and how like cryptic it was. And that's what got my love for side-scrollers, was Metroid. So, if I get a Switch, and if I get Prime, maybe we can do a run-through. If that's okay with the audience. I have no issues with it, so. Okay. Well done. I'm not the audience, but. Okay. Also, we got another sub today. Well Ooh. The deal was I was su I subbed to his channel, and he subbed to us. He subbed to ours. That's pretty cool. Well done. Well done. Okay, fair. <laughs> anyway. So, how was your day, Mr. Oak? It was fine. I did absolutely nothing but edit videos. And that's oh, the extent of it. Hey, so coming soon, mega compilation of our league play. It's all terrible playing, just to let everybody know. I think it's already up, isn't it? Well done. I think so. Maybe. I think it'll be it's either on the list somewhere. It's either in the folder or it's on the list somewhere. But yeah. So, welcome to the cube shaped world of Pokemon. Is this like every generation? Or is it just like a certain generation? This is all the new stuff. So, I actually had to update the Pixelmon pack in order to put this mod pack together. Um, what else do we have in here? We have Pixelmon, Tinker's Construct, Refined Storage, Drawers, because drawers are super nice and they make storage easy, even if we never even touch Refined Storage. Which is basically just like digitizing our storage into a computer. Um, hey, that's rubies. But yeah, so right now, we're at moderately new stage. I did scope out a large portion of the map to where I wasn't having to wander around aimlessly trying to find a village, so I spent probably 30-40 minutes just wandering around. Just a heads up, we got a copyright claim for the end of battle. Yeah, that's... the system already did that. I working on it. It's fine. It is what it is. Anyway. So, it comes from someone not turning off the music like I asked them to. My bad. Anyway. So. 
So I got the most backhanded comment ever today. Okay. It was a typical nice guy comment. Hey, you're, you're, you're... Because I was just like... Because we're at work, and this lady's like, Hey, this guy's cheater than you, but you... You have a better personality than he does. Now I'm just like... What the hell kind of crap is that? Yeah, now, now the thing was, it was just like... What, what, it was like, I'm sorry. I'm not a fuckboy. Sorry for the language, kids, but that's basically what that is. It's basically somebody who just sleeps with everybody, knows they're good looking, and gets away with it. Basically. Yeah, so. And I apologize for not being a fuckboy right in front of the guy. <laughs> and, um. <laughs> Fair. And, uh, yeah, and that, that, was, that, was, that was part of the highlight of my day. And it was just like. Why, why do you, why do you tell somebody that? I mean, just be like, hey, you're a good guy, but you know he's better looking. I would have accepted that better than the other guy. I mean, because honestly, there's somebody out there always better looking than me. Surprisingly, there's somebody out there better looking than uh, Mr. Oak. His name's Johnny Depp. Um, so that's not surprising at all. Everybody loves Johnny Depp more than they like S. Oaks. I mean, it's Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. That's right. Except for what's her bucket. She does not like oh. him. Amber Heard, because she got caught. Being a unkind name. Yep. Because we're still trying to keep this PG-ish. Right. Imagine that. That's right, kid. Treat everybody with respect and you'll get respect. The end. To some extent. There are some jobs you'll have in your life that don't do that, but no. Like our job. <laughs> yeah, but then you get a back end accomplishment of I hope you never quit. Just have to sit there and go, does that mean I have to stay here forever? Because that's rude. Not okay with me, dude. I mean. Another backhanded, can't backhanded comment to you, but we appreciate your leadership. No, I think Remember it's what? such a weird compliment to me. Or at least the "I hope you never quit" because it's like, I like how you do Logan your job Logan. so much that I hope you never have to leave. And it's like, cool. The respect thing, yeah. Yeah, I mean, nice. Do my job Logan. right. Look at that. But it's just like, so because I do my job right, I'm not allowed to leave. The hell kind I mean, of crap I, is that? I mean, I, I, get, I don't think you're trying to make you feel guilty, especially since I know the source. Oh, by the way, me and uh, in the same facility. So. The same little gate of hell we have to go through every day. Yeah. So. Considering the source, I don't think it was like a backhanded comment. I think it was an honest. Yeah, it was honest, but at the same time, it's just like. How am I yeah. just not supposed to take that as a... You gotta forget, it, it comes from King Autism. King Autism? No, that wasn't him. Was it? No, it was not Autism is Pride. Autism is Pride. Love you, Autism is Pride. <laughs> That's the code name we go with. Yeah, I, uh, honestly, I, I used to didn't like Autism is Pride. I thought it was sort of like a... Get off the thing. No. Meow meow. No. And it's the battle of the wills with the cats. It's not even one cat. No, it's not even both cats. It's one cat. One cat, you're just like, hey, stop it. And it looks at you like, oh shit. Oh my bad. Oh crap. I bring it down. Another one the other one is just like, I dare you to touch me. <laughs> but I'm that guy that'd be like Done. We're being attacked by a hound dar. It's a hound dar. Anyway, what? that was my night. Very weird all night. Well, we'll probably have another one tomorrow. Probably. Probably. It's always an exciting day in hell. 
I got a bone. I got a got bone a... to pick with you. I was gonna say that. Shut up. Get, get off my brain wave, man. Get off. Get out of my head brain. I don't get have off. a. You don't have a head brain, so leave. All right. Get my crap mixed. So for having a fire type, so. I, um, in the re in the original version that we recorded, we had a Charmander. I decided to go with a Chimchar. I don't know why. Probably because I like Infernape. So we got a little monkey brain. Hey! Can we, can we name it? Maybe. No. Damn it. Okay, we'll call it Sid. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Alright. So why'd you choose Sid over everybody else? I like Infernape. I don't know why I like Infernape. But it's Infernape's a really good Pokemon in my choice. Or in my opinion. It sounds like me with Scyther. Because not a lot of people like Scyther, and I love Scyther. Well, it's because, like, Scizor is a better version of Scyther. Yeah. I mean, it's faster, hits harder. Yeah, I, mean, I, I love that guy. And everybody's like, why? I'm like, beats. Yeah, beats. You don't like beats? Nope. Why? Is it because we take him on every day playing League? <laughs> Why are you talking about yourself, dude? Be nice. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. So what are we doing now? So we're planting apricorns so that we can start getting them growing and life can be support for us. You make your crop. Um, and that what I'm going to do is every row is a different color. Instead of being absolutely plant confused like it was in the last one. Cool. So then we gotta plant these backwards. And there are a lot of colors. Lots of colors. How many colors? One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven. Eight. No, no. So there's a cooked variety. And so these are the raw. So oh, there's only okay. seven. That makes sense. That makes but they're sense. starting to grow, and from there we can start doing Pokeballs and stuff. Because if we make our Pokeballs, it's cheaper. What the crap is that? We have an angry Ponyta and a very angry Mega... Kangaskhan. Giglet. Gengar. I'm good, man. Uh, we... We lose. Can we catch it? Well, uh, we can't catch those. Why? Because they're rare and we're not allowed to catch those. Why? I don't know. Why? That's just someone decided... That's what it is, so that's what we're stuck with. I don't think we could win against that one either. Having a fire type is very disadvantageous in this environment. One of our One of our league players got fired today. Deku, he got fired. What did he do? Deku. That's his name, is Deku. Yeah, but what did he do? start smelting iron that way we can have iron I like iron it makes me happy 
So we'll drop all this stuff we're not using here. I think we'll inhabit the blacksmith's shop. Talked at by Diglett because Diglett's. And yeah, so we're doing Pixel Mode. Which is that? an unholy. It's a dude. How's it going, hey. dude, bro? We're taking over your what? house. Do I feel bad? No. Is this Skyrim or Minecraft? <laughs> It's a little bit of both. We're just gonna steal your crap. Sorry. We're not even gonna steal your. We're stealing your whole house, dude. Like, not even gonna feel bad. We're Vikings. Goth chick. Hey, you wanna go get married? You're a goth chick, so we're right up. She's also like house. sees ghosts some crap, so. Yeah, they see ghosts, they like ghost types. Or don't. Ghost. Let's ghost. Whee! Oh no, she ran away. That reminds me. We're under attack. What do you think about the new Ghostbusters movie? I haven't seen... I the, There's a new Ghostbusters movie? Yeah. It's, by, it's done by the original characters. So, like, they're 80 million years old, or they wrote it? They wrote it. And oh. they're part of it, and it's their grandchildren. I, uh, so, it's a couple couple of the kids from Stranger Things. Oh. So, Intriguing. I found that... Yeah, I found that very ironic, and just good casting, because all of them act. Yeah? One of them was... Uh, one of them was on an episode of Game Grumps. Uh, Wolf or something. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, Wolf, yeah. Yeah. He's, what a guy. He's a heckin' cool guy. He is a heckin' cool guy. I mean, he plays magic and he's D&D &D and he's an actual nerd. And he's in a music video. Yeah. Where he tells people to go, like, F themselves. He's also in, like, Danny Don't You Know. Yeah, that's the music video. I love that song. It's like, that makes me feel good to be a nerd. You know, that, you know what I mean? It does also, I, I, so I found myself asking the question, of what would I ask? Like, yeah. me from 12 year, or 12 year old me? Or like, what advice would you give? What, what would you give? I honestly would give myself, just like, hey, don't give up on the dream, it's gonna happen, just be safe. Well, if it's 12-year-old you, wouldn't that stop your elbow? I don't think I would stop that. Why would you not stop that? To be honest with you, because... Hey, hear me out, kids. <laughs> because I'm happy where I am right now. If I was a pro baseball player, I might not be happy. Are you buying it? How about you? She's not buying it either. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, what, I, I could have millions and millions of dollars, but I wouldn't know the people I know now. But you would know other people, so you wouldn't even miss them. That's true, but my thing is, it's like, you won't be as happy or you'll be more depressed. Because honestly, the more money I have, and this, this, is, this is like a PTSD thing or anything like that. But ever since I was like... As little as far as I remember, if I spent any money on myself, I would get depressed. I always had to help other people before I helped myself. That's just weird. Oh, so I came across a boat uh, on my way into the middle of nowhere. 
And I found a refrigerator. And a bunch of umbrellas and crap. Like all this stuff I found on that boat. Like chairs. I found chairs. Okay, cool. Look at that. I got chairs. And then I can sit on them. Yeah. So while I'm waiting for crap to smelt, I can sit down. That's some uncomfortable chairs, bro. Better than standing for eternity. If you knock over my Funko Pops, we're gonna go have, we're gonna go rounds with the kitty. I'm not knocking anything over. We're talking about cats and fluff up in here. Oh. Is that a cat? His name's Captain Fluffy. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you little crap. He's a terrorist. He's a terrorist. Fair. He's spoiled rotten because the only thing we feed him is tuna and water. So, and he's cute. He knows it. So that's how he gets a That's how he gets rid of, uh, you know, gets away with everything. Also, fun fact of the evening. I found out something today about cats that makes us addicted to them. They're right fluffy. Here. That, and they have over the course of thousands of years, they have developed a gland that makes humans addicted to them. They, they, they read off a pheromone. It's only only active in humans. So if they if we get a whiff of their pheromone, there you go. We're addicted to cats. Because they found us as great protectors. So that whole S episode of Futurama about them wanting to take over the planet and had a plan for it, it's actually true. Yeah, at least slightly. Hey, Captain Fluffercare. I see you. You're so pretty. He's hiding behind Funko Pops. He's cute when he's not being a terrorist. Aren't they all? Wow, time moves by really quick. Hey, Fluffikins. Can I steal your guys' stuff? Oh, that's so cute. They're cleaning each other. Yeah. They do that. Much he's adorbs. Giving, he's getting loves. She does not mean to know me. It's like, I don't like being touched. Thank you, but you one, but my mom. Anyway, yeah. I have a hat. Oh, you have a hat? Let's see it. Hat. I'm not gonna lie, it looks sort of derpy. Hmm, kind of like it's on brand. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is derpy brand hats. <laughs> Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Bro, you ever got those derp hats? They're so, crazy. They're, they're so cool. Oh, come on. This Diglett's a butt. No, it's a mole. No, uh -oh. seriously, like, I heal, it attacks me. Knocks out the Pokemon. Well, get rid of it. I'm trying. Diglett. Go away. Seriously, I'm in the wrong environment to have a freaking fire type. Well, you picked fire type, so you're dumb. You're the one that would have been like, we need a Charmander. Okay, we might win this one. Oh, Shinx. Well, you know, it is like four levels ahead of us. Rip. Okay, cool. <sighs> is this randomized? Yeah, well, so it's based on which biome you're in. See? No. See? This Diglett's an asshole. <laughs> Nothing. Good to know you can't hit a Diglett with an axe. Is it bad that this little bunker thing we stole is better in my dorm in college? Yeah. 
little bit. In the bucket with you. Okay, so. Wait, come back. I want to do your quest. Okay, that's for later. Diglett. That Diglett is fighting the Shinx, and the Shinx won. That's a very strong Shinx. Just saying. So, anyway. what I'll start doing is... I'll probably start mining. Imagine can you, that. Can you, start, can you start catching flutterbys? When I get acorns to make pokeballs? Because I'm... Right now, what's stalling the Mega Pokeball Factory is the fact that said Pokeball Factory requires Apricorns. Or what? Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie, Chimchar. You, you kinda suck, my bro. This, just, this little rat dog is kicking you in the head. Rat dog. It's like a cat dog, but worse. At least cat dog is useful. Um, I gotta remember where I planted them. Hello? Where'd I go? There they are. Chimchar was revived? Ow. Jesus Christ, bro. See, see, this this heckin' Diglett man. Diglett man. Look at that dig. Where did the little monstrosity go? Here. She's thinking you are the worst Pokemon trainer ever in the history of time. Yeah. Your chip chart, your chip chart died three times. Thinking the same thing, man. That or a case of that, I don't really want to keep doing that crap anymore. And then there's that. Okay, cool. That, and she's probably like, hey, why'd you break my wall? I want to, but that's my wall. It's mine now. Hey, Meowykins, come here. Though normally we would cook those, and then we could turn them into ball discs, but in this case... We're just She believes in dark magic. Which, by the way, dark magic. Decent movie. Not bad. I like that. What was that one movie where Meryl Streep took a potion and became immortal? Was it like robots or something? No. She was given the elixir of life or something, and she was haunting her ex-husband. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Uh, something wives. Ooh, you know, yeah. Uh, it's not Stepford wives. Cool. If you're able to visit Ultra Space, yeah. I mean, I could try. So... Alright, controversial opinion. Yo. I like Avril Lavigne. Okay. Like, I don't know why that'd be controversial, but... How controversial? I got, I got a better one. Controversial opinion. Alanis Morissette's better than Avril Lavigne. Yes. Maybe. No. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Like, by miles. No. Miles. No. Yeah. 
Yeah, bro. Now let me ask you this: Has Alanis ever done anything with Marilyn Manson? Uh, she wouldn't have to. But I'm just saying, like the freaking. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it right here. Has ever Levine ever played God? Played God? Yeah. I mean, she's a mom. Does that count? Nope. You ever seen Dogma? Negatory. Uh, I, I Lance Morissette played God. Well, so has uh, Liam Neeson and Morgan Freeman. But Morgan Freeman is God. That we, and the Allstate guy. State guy? Yeah. Ginger! I'm sorry, Morgan Freeman is God. You ever get, like, upset? I think, okay, uh, I think God's voice is a mixture of Morgan Freeman, the Allstate guy, and Liam Neeson. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. You're close. Morgan Freeman. Allstate guy. Okay. Uh, who's the guy that did Darth Vader's voice? Ooh. Uh, James Earl Jones. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. It's got that deep, soothing, but intimidating... Yeah, like the mess with me and you die type of thing. Yeah. Hey, I love you, but yeah. Prepare to die. Is that about right? That's about right, right? Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. So anyway, in this movie, Dog Long, Avril Lavigne doesn't talk. Because, you know, there's a, there's a thing in the Bible that says if you hear God talk, you explode. It's Alanis Morissette yeah. that you're talking about. Yes. But anyway, she played God. What, did, what does Avril Lavigne have anything to do with? Did she play God? I don't think Avril Lavigne's been in a movie. I think she has. Well, you're the... You have better access to Google than I do. Oh, come on, bulldoze. I swear. You know what? Just because of that, I'm burning it. I'm destroying the beats. Because they're gross. Beats are disgusting. Into the pit with you. Cool. So, so one of our one of our close friends, well not close friends, but our league friends got fired today because some redneck. Because this, this person is of, of color, right? Anyway, some dumb redneck kept calling him out at work, and he finally snapped. But he got fired. What? So I'm gonna have to side with our boy from League. I'm just that's just the way it is. I have questions before I pick a side. Seriously, this freaking do it, man. So I know the title of the of the VOD now. Diglett harasses Jim Shark. Getting harassed by a Diglett. Yeah, yeah. How do you like that? How do you like that? This is the time you could do it. God! Mother trucker! And don't you get, get, get off my anvil! Get off the anvil! Die! I hate you. There's a realm just for you in hell, you little monster. <laughs> Eat this thing. It's like the nine millionth time I've had to heal because of this freaking diglet. Get out of my house! Whoa, what the? Well, children, we've found Groudon. I look up from my phone, all I see is a giant. <laughs> I come out from <laughs> my <laughs> back door I made, and there's a freaking grout on. Just bleh. It's only level 58. Come on. Rip. 
it's worth a try. I just had to know how Did big it was. Seriously, try to take on a grown-up. Yeah, I'm only what having trouble hell? with the level ten Diglett, and I'm just like, hey, Groudon, what the heck? And it's a primal Groudon too, so it's a fire type. Go get it. I don't think I can. Go get it. I, I can't. Hey, no, screw that. Get the horsey thing. Get the horsey. Move the horsey thing. Get that. That's adorable. Get that. I want that. I mean, I could try. Get him. Wait. Like, catch it? Yeah. Well, I can't do that. I don't have any balls. Yes, son. We know. I'm not married. It's not for that reason, either. <laughs> so get ripped. Come on. See, remember when I said having a fire type could be a bad thing in this area? Yeah. Who's a dummy? That would be me. I's a dummy. You make it very hard to farm, I'm just saying. Excuse me, sir, your butt is in the way. Go away! It's just big. And obnoxious. That's what she said. <laughs> Ask your parents about that, kids. It's just a common statement about what people say. Uh, the, the female. Persuasion. I don't know, bro. Uh, that comment was just like. It's, it bothered me. Uh, the backhanded one? Yeah. I just texted my roommate and said, yeah, to kill a bitch. No. I don't think we have to. Why is that her first response? Oh, come on. I'm kidding. She didn't say that. No, I go against a. Uh, no, I go against poison type, and what's it do? Poison me. Am I surprised? No, but am I still upset? Yes. Well, you, guys, don't play around the electronics. Go play on the bed or something. Please, thank you. Get a red dot. Oh, that's true. Get the red dot. Red dots are good. No, no. Come on, do it. Do it. Yes, we win. Look, we can win a fight. Surprisingly, um, Meow Meow Ikins took down Captain Fluffikin. Yeah, like my cat will drop our giant ginger cat. Like she, he'll come up, try to like play tapper, and she'll just like, grab his head and twist. Yeah, that's what just happened. <laughs> You, you, you don't mess with uh, Meow Meow. No, she, go away, Diglett. Go away, Diglett. No. <laughs> like, you don't mess with Meow Meow. You just don't. She'll kill you. It's kind of like her mom, actually, if you think about it. <laughs> you mess with her mom, you die. I'm going to taunt. Oh, come on. I'm alive. Aha, uh -huh. I'm not a one hit kill anymore. I'm a two hit kill. Damn it. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I hate you so much. Get out of my house. One second. I gotta let the cats out of my room because they're gonna destroy everything in here. So I'll be right back. Okay, fine. Meanwhile, there's still a giant thing. There's a fire bug. I could try to punch it in the face. Larvesta. Get it. Get it. Ember. And it's fire type, but still. It works, I guess. Kind of. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, he put a sock out in the hallway. He went after me. 
Um, actually, if you have old socks after you wash them, you can throw catnip in them. I might do that. And That's they're gross, very yeah. entertaining because the cat just, at least one of our cats, he'll just push the sock into his face and sniff and it's just, and then he'll just flop his head back like, ugh, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Cats are weird, but slightly ever so enjoyable. No, I'm um, speaking of enjoyable things right now. Uh, Eric, the gerbil, is currently trying to dig through glass. And it's hilarious because he's been more on this one spot for three weeks. <laughs> dig through glass. You got a dumb rat, I'm just saying. Ooh, there's a hole in the ground. Is there anything good down there? There's iron. I like iron. Oh, it's a ravine. Is it a ravine? It might be a ravine. I don't know if this counts as a ravine. See the shiny? I see a shiny. Oh. It's a boss. I don't want to play with the boss. Hey! Foxite! And now we can have our uh, local ore lesson again of Foxite, which is. Raw, unfired aluminum. Because, yes, aluminum has to come from somewhere. And it does in the form of bauxite. The more you know. Oh. Also, gravity, kind of bad. Not going to lie. Guy, sorry, my internet died. Hey. Hello? Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, my internet died, so that'll probably be a good. Oh, yeah, probably. You missed our local ore lesson again. What happened? We found bauxite. Why don't we miss the cool stuff? Jesus. Well, I didn't dig it up yet, because you need iron to do that. I need a new gaming chair. The cats have destroyed mine. I might wait till I get a new apartment, though. I need a new friend. Well, Why? Because yeah. you can always have new friends. That's true, but sometimes you just want to be like, hey, derpa 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 derpa. <laughs> That's why we named the channel that. Uh, I gotta submit my deck list. I'm gonna do that. Right. Well, I got one more deck I gotta play. I already made up my mind though. Um, you can make up your mind. Wow. When it comes to magic, I can make up my mind pretty easily, like really quickly. Now, like, when it comes to what you get to drink at a common sense, different story. So, a common sense is a gas station here in like Idaho, if nobody's, if you're watching from the future. Um, or on uh, different parts of the world. Yes. So, uh, it's basically 7 Eleven, Exxon, that type of thing. Um, Sheets. People living on the west, on the east coast. Sheets is a big thing. I miss Sheets shakes. Those were the best, and, the, and their Slurpees were the best things on the planet. Just saying. So when we go to Pennsylvania, we're going to a Sheets. We're getting a Slurpee. Ball game. 
That's it. Anyway, ball so, game is that what? What? It's, it's an East Coast thing. So. Yeah, I was about to go. Is that even English? A ball game? Yeah. Ball I know. Game. I know Basically. what a ball game is. Anyway. I've been to several. Did not enjoy. Yep. Yeah, I took a nap. Are these football games or are these like baseball games? I've been to baseball, football, uh, volleyball. Volleyball I liked watching because I actually understood it. So football basically throw a ball, run balls, get touchdowns, get tackled. The, that's basically the end of the game. That's the entire play too. Yeah, that's it. See, I did marching band in high school, big surprise. And yeah. yeah. Um, so we had to go to the football games, and I just sat there and went, I don't, I don't, why? And then we would do our show, and the show lasted longer than any freaking play you could do. Yep. Right, even in the Super Bowl. Well, that's right, you were in, like, a big band nerd, right? Yeah, I did it for all four years of high school, got awards and crap for it. Congratulations. Yeah, I didn't know you got awards for it. Yes, I did. Not for playing, but for being a psychopath and doing a job didn't really you, well. Didn't you tell me you like go to like ones that were like it was like two foot two feet of mud and you had to like march through that? Yep. You well it wasn't two foot of mud, so what it would happen is on your average football field it's all uh, grass and mud and ugh. Yeah. You just... If it's raining, and this is only if it's raining, there's a point where it stops raining, and that's the worst time. Because the mud, at that point, absorbs all the water in the area, and you sink. Right. This was also the one where I had one of our props wrap around my throat and pull. Yeah, you were telling me, but, and um, you almost died by choking or something. I didn't almost die. What it did is it ripped off my helmet, because we had helmets and stuff. Right. And uh, it kind of, like, flung me out of place. Right. So I used my little to no acting skill to make it look like it was intentional. Because we were doing a Civil War themed show, by the way, did not go very well. And Why? yeah, because I think it was like the 150th anniversary of the Civil War, and they just—it was one of those. Even the director admitted it was not written the best. I mean, it, and he helped write. Right. So. And it was just one of those where he didn't, he wasn't written very well, and it, no matter what we did, we couldn't really get it to work. No. Hey, do you want to stop the recording in your phone? Yep. Yeah, this is actually a good All point right. to stop. So, we will maybe see everybody in the next one. We're going to edit this down and go from there. Alright, cool. Later, guys. Bye-bye. Hey. <laughs>